Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm just going to show you how to play the theme from Greece by Frankie Valli because this song absolutely slaps. Um, it's in standard tuning, but the original is a quarter step down. So you sort of tune your E to halfway between E and E flat, and then the rest relative to that, and you'll be able to play along with the original then. Um, so my guitar part is pretty funky, using a pick. And yeah, a few sections to this. There's the intro riff, there's the chorus, there's verses, um, the bridge, and there's a couple of variations in each, um, the ending of each verse, um, but I'll talk through them as well. Cool. So, starts off with the, the intro riff. Um, so we're starting with a power chord in the 5th fret, no, oh, sorry, 7th fret. So 7 on the 6th string, and then 9-9 nine, nine on the 5th and 4th. And then we've got a run down. Um, pretty much pentatonic with a blues note thrown in, and it's in, it's sequenced in, in threes. Um, so what it is, so starting 7th fret on the high E string, then we go 10-7 on the 5th, on the 2nd string, sorry, then 10-7-9, then 7-9-7, seven, seven. that's on 2-3-3, three, three. then we go 9-7-9, nine, 7-9-7, seven, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven. and then we do the blues sort of, so that's 9-8-7 on the 5th string, then 10, 7 on the 6th string. And then it finishes on 5, 7, which is actually the start of the chorus. Um, so that's the intro riff, and that comes back again uh, later on in the song. So then what comes in after this intro riff is actually the chorus. So I'll teach you the chorus, and then I'll tell you how it um, appears in this first iteration. Uh, so the chorus is this. Um, so what this is, starting on the um, 6th string, 5th fret, hammer on to 7, and we do 5 to 7 on the top 2 strings, slide that over, then we go 7 to 9 on the 4th string, and then 10th fret, top 2 strings, just a little slide down, so all that together. Um, then the, the strings sort of play this little, which I've just sort of done on guitar, which is on the third string, nine, pull off to seven, then nine on the fourth, and then back to seven on the third string. Um, and then I just sort of double the melody, the vocal melody as well, for a little bit, which is just seven sliding into nine on the fourth string, and then seventh fret on the third string. Then we've got an E minor bar chord. Um, so that's seventh fret, fifth string, uh, fourth and third strings on the ninth fret, and then eighth fret on the second string. So all up so far. Um, then it does this little run down, which is pretty much the same notes as in the intro riff. So 7th fret, 1st string, 10 on the 2nd string, 7 on the 2nd string, 9 on the 3rd string, and 7 on the 3rd string. Then it repeats the majority of this. Um, 
instead of doing the little melody, it plays this uh, G major bar chord, which is just third fret on the lowest string, fifth fret on the fifth and fourth strings, and fourth fret on the third string. And it's this second half of the chorus that you hear in the intro, so right after the, uh, the main riff. Um, so that's that's pretty much the chorus. There's a couple of variations uh, coming out of it. So so it just does that little lick um, to get into the very first chorus, which is just ninth fret on the third and second strings. Just bend that up and back, and then seventh fret on the third and second strings. And then uh, seven nine on the fourth string, which gets you into the verse. So the verse is pretty much all bar chords. So I'll play through it coming out of the the chorus. So, what we've got coming out of the chorus is that little and then it's it's a B minor 7 bar chord, but I just play the top two strings um, just for the very first time. It's just a couple little chops at that. And then we've got an E major bar chord, so 7th fret on the 5th string and then 9 on the 4th, 3rd and 2nd. And then we've got the B minor 7, which is barring the 7th fret, all 6 strings, and 9th fret on the 5th string. Back to the E, back to the B, and then we've got F sharp minor 7. And kind of make this sort of funky and, and choppy in your strumming. Um, so this is barring the 9th fret. The top five strings and then fourth string 11th fret and then 10th fret on the second string then we've got this rundown um, so we're going to move our f sharp minor seven straight down two frets so we've now got an e minor seven so barring top five strings seventh fret um, ninth fret on the fourth string and eighth fret on the second string. Then we've got D major, which is the same as our E major, just moved down two frets. So fifth fret on the fifth string and then seven, seven, seven on the fourth, third, and second. Then move that down two frets to C major. So you've got three, five, five, five. Back to our B major, sorry, B minor seven. Um, so, so far you've got and the last bit of this is just chords we already know, so E major, B minor 7 and then the F sharp minor 7. Um, first time round goes to that G major uh, bar chord that we play um, to get us back to the start of the verse. And then it plays through the verse again, but instead of going to the G major bar chord, um, it goes from the F sharp minor seven straight into the chorus. like that. Um, so then we've got, so a lot of this is repetitive, then there's a bridge that comes in at about 1 minute 45, 
and this comes straight out of a chorus. So I'll play the end of the chorus and through the bridge. <laughs> So coming out of the chorus, when you get to the G major bar chord, then moves over to an A major, so same shape. So 5th fret, lowest string, 7th fret on the 5th and 4th, and 6th fret on the 3rd string. Then it plays E minor, 7 on the 5th, then 9 on the 4th and 3rd, and eight on the second. Move that over two frets. So you've got F sharp minor. Um, so you've got nine, 11, 11, 10. Then we've got a G major, which is 10 and then 12 on the fourth, third and second strings. And then move that back one fret to create F sharp major. So you've got nine, 11, 11. fourth, third, and second strings. And then it's got that same um, little run that you play earlier on in the tune. In the tune. Um, there's just a little break that happens, which is just uh, seventh fret on the low E string. Um, that's straight after the second time you hear the, the intro riff. towards the end of the track, then there's another chorus um, at the end, and the only difference is the rhythm in the little, little rundown that you hear right at the very end of the track. So same notes, just the rhythm changes. Um, but I think that's pretty much all the parts to this song. Um, if you've got any questions, just let me know below and I'll try and answer them for you. Um, I've done a playthrough of this as well, so you can play along. Um, so I hope you like that. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. You can subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.